What's up everybody, welcome back to the Vegas Life. So today we're going to do something a little different when it comes to our tour. Usually we start right at the entrance to the hotel and we kind of work our way around. But I've never been here before because it's brand new, obviously. So I'm going to start coming in from the parking garage, which if you're driving is probably where you'll come in unless you come from the airport. And then we're going to explore together. So yeah. So from the parking garage you can see they are still constructing the resort. It is open. They still got things to do. The other half of this parking garage is actually not complete yet either. So there's a few things that aren't running yet. I noticed the uh, arrows aren't going on there. Also on our way in, I noticed that the uh, the lights that tell you if there's a spot that's open or not aren't working correctly. There was some green ones where there was cars parked and the numbers that tell you how many are open weren't active. All right, so coming off the elevator, this is our first introduction to Resort World. And they got a nice line of cars. Obviously, I'm going to say the first one's a Bentley and probably something of equal. We have our first Starbucks. If you guys watch the rest of the vlog, you know I love to find out how many Starbucks there are. Oh, they are all Rolls Royce, not Bentley. So we have a nice line of Rolls Royce to start our introduction of every color. Dang. That's got to be what? More than a million dollars sitting right here, right? Jeez Louise. This is crazy. Look at these Rolls Royce. They're everywhere. We are past the Rolls Royces and into, I guess, would be considered the main casino area. There's an entrance right over there. Famous food and street eats. We have a bar back behind us. And then what looks like the main gaming floor. There's another Rolls Royce. This one seems to be important. It's a 2018 Pearl Phantom. Woof. Comment down below if you know how much that's worth because I'm thinking a lot. This is currently the line to sign up for membership. You get the player's card. Very popular. So according to the billboard there, everything appears to be to the left. So let's go that way. So this looks like it's going to be one of the drop-off areas for valet or self-park. Correction, valet or taxi. But we're not in front of the main hotel entrance. Alright, so I think for some of this, I'm going to switch to the uh, wide angle. Because there's a lot to take in. Alright, now we're on the wide angle. It's a little more shaky, I know, but you can actually see a lot more. So here is what looks like the food court area. Uh, yeah, over here, casino gaming floor. It is packed. This is crazy. So if you haven't watched any of my other videos or anything else on Vegas, as of June 1st, no masks are required, and we are in the pre-COVID stage, which means no restrictions. Uh, if you're vaccinated, you, know, you don't have to wear a mask, they said, just for your FYI. But yeah, look at this. There's a ton of stuff at these food courts. This is crazy. I wonder what the prices are like. I've never been to a new casino resort opening because this is the first one in years, I think almost 10 or 15 years, but it is nuts. There's just lines upon lines. This is awesome. So we are walking into the food court, I guess you could call it. There's a bar. These are just lines. Lines and lines for the different restaurants. Looks like fresh something. I know. I know how I sound. Fresh something or something right here. Pretty fancy. Lots going on. A lot of Asian-inspired uh, restaurants. Actually, I'd say almost all of them, not all of them, but almost all of them are Asian-inspired. And then you got a drink well, slash bar. Yeah. All right, we are moving away from the food core, which is behind me. And we are now headed down along the casino floor on the right side. I guess I'd be left side if you're heading one way. Whatever. All right, review of the bathrooms. They are nice. They are fancy, full doors. I like it. Haven't had time to get trashed up yet. All right, so we have reached the end of that hall. Back down that way was the food court, the casino floor, which is on my left shoulder, and we are rounding the wine bar. Fancy. And yeah, we are somewhere. I apologize again, guys. I've never been here, so. Yeah. It opens up into a very huge hallway. Holy crap. So look at this. 
there's like a giant silver disco ball. There's three floors of things. Wow. And it goes, yeah. We're gonna start out by heading towards the gigantic disco ball. Yeah, we'll see what's over in this direction. Restaurants. There's another entrance over there. A vegan, vegan restaurant? Vegan ice cream restaurant, interesting. All right, this is called the Digital Sphere. That's cool. So I hope it lights up at some point, or turns on. All right, we're working our way around the giant Digital Sphere into the rest of the hallway. Let's see a pizzeria. And again, just three floors of different stuff. So this area is very reminiscent of a giant indoor mall. Yeah, there, I mean, there's not even slot machines out here. It very much feels like an indoor mall. I don't know if that's what they're going for. We need to work our way, I guess, up to some of the other floors that are around and see what's uh, up there. All right, so we have rounded the corner from the giant silver disco ball. There's another entrance right off the strip in front of us, Las Vegas Boulevard, and then an escalator to go upstairs where there is apparently another Starbucks, O-Bag, a bunch of different uh, stores, yeah. All right, so this is where we're gonna go up. There's a giant silver ball. Back and around the corner, there's a casino floor where we were. Let's go see what's up here. So there is an elevator right over there if you need to use the elevator. And we are going up to the second floor now. So like we talked about earlier, a lot of things are still under construction here, including the third floor. We cannot yet go what? up to the third floor because apparently it's still under construction. We have O-Bag, which is still under construction. So I'm thinking a lot of things here are still gonna be under construction. I don't know, maybe they rush the opening? Little thing next to the elevator. It shows that level one's obviously the casino, hotel, theater, two, conference center, three, ballroom, and, and then it goes up to six, which is a rose rooftop. Cool. All right, looks like the globe lit up, or I don't know if it's just from our angle, but that's pretty cool. All right, we're up top. We're moving past the uh, second Starbucks that we've found so far and around. So just past the Starbucks is a, uh, another photo op. They have lots of these, this one being Las Vegas Raiders. All right, so right over here is the photo op. Behind us is the Starbucks, and this is called Elephant Closet. Oh, so it's like a little, uh, oh, look at that. We got coconut water, that's so cool. So it is your basic supply store, and of course you got your merch take this opportunity to tell you please do me a favor like and subscribe to this video the buttons are right down below it helps me out keeps these videos going and helps you out by keeping making these going all right so we've got a sneaker shop that looks super expensive but cool and then headed this way something else again i don't know i haven't been here but let's head down that way and then we're gonna go up so we are now this is where we started our whole adventure, and we are now over looking down this way. This is the other way around the uh, casino this way. We came out here. That's called the Gatsby Cocktail Lounge, super cool. Yeah, so we gotta work our way back down and go that way still. So as we approach the escalators up top, we have the casino, hotel, conference center, theater, and parking. I figured that's what that was back then. I figure that's what that was back over in here was a theater. One thing I haven't found yet that I would like to find is a map. A lot of these places have like a digital or a, a map that you can say, you know, you are here and this is where stuff is. So I don't really know where within the hotel casino we are. So I wish I could give you a better idea. Once we do find a map, if we do, I'll fill you in. So we are headed towards what is called the Vegas Loop. I don't know what that is, I'm curious. All right, we've got a big open area of nothingness right now. And then this goes around. All right, we are headed out of the nothingness and down the other side where apparently there is another Starbucks and another sneaker garden, hotel, casino, theater. Cool. So down there we have Blossom, Jasmine, Spa and Fitness. I don't know what those are. Lotus, Lily, FedEx Office. I think those are conference rooms based just on the fact that they're just basic names. Like there's Orchid B, Orchid B, so yeah, conference rooms. So as you're walking around, there are nice little seats or you can just sit down and take a little siesta. I love it. 
I love it. So we're moving away from all the conference rooms behind us. We're going towards Rose, which obviously is another one. Vegas Loop, don't know what that is. A nightclub, day club, that's cool. Red Tail and Starbucks. All right, just like on the other side, we cannot go up the third floor, whatever this is. I'm gonna zoom in. Ooh, I don't have my glasses. I'm not sure I can make that out, but yeah, so that's the third floor. So as we come away from the escalators, we can see that there's still things being built. There's an example of construction still being done. Yeah, I don't even know if there's anything over here since they're still working, but let's go see. All right, as we round the corner, we see again more construction. Another shop still being put together. And yeah, this leads us back over to where we started this whole thing, but on the other side. All right, so we just came down from up there. We walked around, back down the escalators we came up, and now we're headed back to the other side of the globe. Yeah, a lot of this area over here, not done. Incomplete. Here's one of the restaurants named Viva. It says the wait is almost over. Opening soon. Seems to be the general theme with Resort World right now. Opening soon. All right, we are headed past the Phoenix, down underneath the big open space that had nothing in it, and to whatever is over here, which says Conference Center, Brisa, Bar Zazu, I'm sorry, I know, and Restroom. Looks like, again, unfinished, that there's gonna be maybe TVs or screens in these. All right, we are now by Zaza, Zuza. <laughs> we are now by Brazza. Brisa. Boy, I am sorry about trying to pronounce things. Brisa. Yeah, also not open. All right, so I'm not going to film the bathroom, but I do want to show you this because it's very strange to me. This is the entrance to the bathroom. So women go right there, women, men right there. It's very strange. Somebody walking in just said it's crazy because you think, oh crap, I'm going the wrong one, but then there's the other one. Right, so behind me was the bathrooms and Braza bar. We're going to head this way. All right, so we are now headed down the opposite side with all the stores on my right shoulder from where we were before. Still haven't found the hotel check-in or hotel area, so we gotta look for that. This one's called Sun's Out, Bun's Out. Uh, probably an egg or breakfast place based on things. And we are headed this way into what's called the Conrad. Again, I believe this is the hotel. So here's a menu for Sun's Out buns out 15 to oh and it's gone all right we're passing through the doors into the conrad much quieter there's a store a little waiting area car so inside the conrad is liberace's piano quite opulent they have a live artist painting wow he does very good work here's one of the artist's work and you can see, uh, yeah, ten thousand dollars. All right, pass. So we have the bar right as you walk in, and then you have your check-in area for the Conrad. There's your valet parking pull-up, and yeah. So if you're staying at the Conrad, there it is. Ah, I must have known I was coming. Filming in progress. All right, we're headed out of the Conrad, and we're gonna head up to what is the next hotel to check into because there's three. All right, so we got some Milano cookies. What else did we get? We got a Red Bull, thank you very much. I needed that. What's the total on all these? $23. That's not bad. That's not bad. The Smart Water was $7.50. The what? The Smart Water was $7.50. Holy crap. All right, we're headed out of there, past the sun's out, mun's out. And we are gonna head over to the next one, so we'll be going to the right, which is all that stuff. So the district is the area we're in, that's the shopping mall area. All right, so this is another one of the restaurants called The Kitchen. They all have long lines. It looks like a buffet. If you zoom in right over here, you can see what looks like a buffet. It says breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I don't think this is a touch screen. No, it is not. All right, we're gonna continue this direction away from everything. Yeah, of course, a casino. All right, I'm not sure what this is yet, but it is looking fancy. This thing. Classy. 
So this area is called Crockford's Casino and Lounge. I assume this is, a, I don't even know. This is probably like a casino within the casino. And I'm thinking high roller. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure high roller. All right, we're gonna head out into the Hilton and the Genting place. And there's another Starbucks, ugh. All right, past the Genting Lounge is the Hilton Conference Center Elevators and Genting Place. So I guess if you're staying at the Hilton Park, this is where you'll be. Pretty sure this is high roller check-in. If you know how to be there, you'll be there. All right, this is the Genting Palace. So it's Resort World, so everything's got a theme. And this one is Asia. Chinese. There's a man taking a picture of his dog in a stroller. So here's the Genting. You got the gaming lounge entrance there. So the Genting Palace is a restaurant. It looks very fancy. All right, walk around the corner of the Genting Palace restaurant towards the Hilton. All right, as we head into the Hilton check-in, we have another market. This one looks like, looks like they got prepackaged food at this one, whereas the other one was just kind of a grab-it-and-go, like, supermarket. I don't know what that is back there. Cool. All right, we're going to head in this way. All right, so we are coming into the Hilton check-in now. Just as opulent as all of them. There's your pull-up valet check-in. There is your hotel. This one doesn't have a security guard like the last one. And then, of course, here's the area you're going to check in to stay. Yeah. So this one also has a basic store, sort of like we were just at, and then next to it is the market. Let's go in there real quick and we'll see what they have. All right, so this is the market right outside of the Hilton. You can see there's got food, drinks, basic items. Yeah, pretty fancy uh, foods for grab and go though. Look at that salad. Jeez, look at those sandwiches. All right, I gotta see how much is it gonna be doesn't even say. I guess if you know, if you have to know the price, you shouldn't have it. The Hilton Garden, we have the conference center area. Escalators going up. There's a security guard there, so we're probably not going to go that way. Had my fair share of being told to go out of places. Yeah. You have the cashier and loyalty services. There's a lot of people here that are probably trying to get memberships and sign up, because right over here is where we saw that long line of people signing up. And then we're almost back to the Bentleys. We're just going to go down whatever this door is, or this walkway is over here. All right, so right over here we have the Rolls Royces. I think I said Bentley earlier. My bad. We're going to head down. Another photo I interrupted. We're going to head down this direction and see what is over here. The other side of this, um, over there, is the store we were just in. Oh, this is a poker room. Okay, so this is specific for poker. A lot of very serious looking people in there. And then we have Goldie, Goldie's Takeout. Those doors say emergency exit only, so there's nothing over there. That's a little takeout stand right at the end. It's pretty neat as you come in. So it's like a little hidden away uh, food area. My finger's in the camera. That's super neat. Anyways, that is our tour today. Quick one, a lot of things aren't open. We'll definitely be back to uh, finish up uh, when they open more things. Make sure you like, subscribe, and follow, and we'll see you soon.